Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly, and today I am going to be showing you how you can get user input from an input field and validate it using Unity. So let's get into it. So I've literally got an empty canvas with an event system and main camera. If you don't have an event system, you can go to game object, UI, and then event system. Firstly, we're going to be making a, an input field. So we can right click on the canvas, go to UI, then go to legacy, then input field. If you're on an older version of Unity, input fields will just appear in the UI section. We're, use, we're not using Text Mesh Pro to keep this super simple. We're going to resize this to maybe be 400. So it's a little bit bigger. Next, we're going to go back to our canvas, go to UI, then we're going to go to Legacy, then we're going to go to Button. So this button, we're going to set the text of it, and we're going to say Enter. And this button is going to be used by the user to let the program know, hey, I've given my input, I want you to validate it. And lastly, we're going to right click on our canvas again, go to UI, then go to legacy, then go to text. Then lastly, we're going to go back to the canvas, right click on it, go to UI, go to legacy, and then go to text. We're going to move the text up, we're going to center it with the alignment, we're going to do wait, waiting for input as the text, we're going to make the text bigger, we're going to make the size of the rec transform bigger so we can see the text clearly, and we're going to set the colour to white to make it stand out. So with, all, with our little UI set up, we can now make a script. In your assets folder, right click, click on create, go to C sharp script, and make something called input handler. Open, open it up. Firstly, make sure you have these four imported at the top of your script. The next step is to delete the update and start functions because we don't need them. Then we're going to do two serialized fields. So one's going to be input field and it's going to then be called input field. This is going to be what the user uses to type their user input. And then we're going to do serialized field text result text. This is going to be the text that's going to output the results of the validation. If you're using Text Mesh Pro, uh, these classes you use here will be slightly different. Then we're going to make a function. It's going to be public void validate input. This is going to be the function that calls when the user clicks a button and it's going to validate the user input. So we're going to do string input equals input fields.text. So we're going to reference our input field and we're going to get the text from it. This is how you get the text from an input field, by the way. Then we're going to do an if statement. If input.length is less than four, result text.text equals invalid input, result text.color equals color.red. So if the input is less than four characters long, that means it's too short and therefore invalid. So we're going to set the text of our result text to be to say invalid input, and then we're going to set the color of it to be red to kind of make the user a bit more alert. And then we're going to do an else statement, which means the input's long enough. So we set the text of our result text to valid input, and then we set the color to green to be like, yo, you got it right, good job. So be sure to save your work and return to Unity as that is all the code we're going to do. Now, go to your button, uh, scroll down, and drag and drop the script we just made onto the button. Where it says input field, I want you to drag your input field. So the script now has a reference to an input field and do the same with the text. Now, in the button component, we're going to click on the plus here, then drag and drop the button object into this little box here. Then for, for no function, we're going to scroll down to input handler, which is the name of our script we made. If you gave it a different name, this is going to say something different. And then we're going to go all the way to the bottom to where it says validate input again. If you did a different function name, it's going to be something different. And click on that. And that's it for this tutorial. So save your work and hit play. So it says waiting for input. Let's type max. And it says invalid input because it's too short. Let's do max o diddly. And it's valid because max o diddly is long enough. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more Unity tutorials. Thanks for watching.